Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Samara, aka Nightmarican Princess. If you are new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And if you are part of the family, you already know what to do. You have to keep on watching. Yes, guys, that thumbnail, that title is absolutely correct. I'm going to show you guys how to simply turn your $50, $100, $250 into 3000 Seriously. So just keep on watching and let's get started. Keep it a hundred, nigga, none of that's all. I got your bitch counting up the cheddar, pick seven stitches on my motherfucking sweater. Balenciaga's when I'm motherfucking stepping. Yeah. Shout out my cousin, he just be the fun of me. I can't be fucking with niggas with jealousy. I tell this to all of my students who are under me and who are learning under me. I advise you to have a trading view account. If you don't, I need to stop what you're doing and go create one, okay? But if you do, let's keep on pushing and moving forward. So what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna go here in the search box column and you're gonna find the um, the pair that you normally like to trade. Me personally, um, I always suggest all of my traders, all of my new beginners to make sure to get your two or three pairs that you really like but if you are a beginner i advise you to just get two pairs that you simply like because once you identify and understand those two pairs it's going to be easy for you to understand that particular pair and to make your money and balance um, my advice for it is simply let's say you do take a pair idea or a trade idea from someone and that trade didn't go as well as you wanted it to do and you probably overbid so when i say overbid you probably over leveraged your account so instead of using 50 50 cents, you probably use maybe $10 or maybe um, a dollar, okay? And um, you want to be able to recover. So in order to recover, you have to go back to a pair that you are familiar with, that you know for a fact that you're about to make your coins and voila, you're done. Of course, you're just going to type in EURUSD. And with this one, I always typically just go with the first one. Um, as you guys can see, there's so many different pairs going on with EURUSD, but anything that basically says EURUSD, that's what I choose. I'm just gonna choose the first one because that's what I do. Um, so it's gonna come to this section right here. Sorry about all of my tabs, guys. I am a student in school and uh, yeah, so don't judge. But um, we're gonna go into the full feature chart and we're about to go into magic okay so this is my chart um one thing that i do like i like to trade on the 15 minute chart okay so make sure that your time is right um i also like to work with my high inky i don't know if is it high hiking ashy hiking ashy there you go i always call it something else but um these are pretty much my go-to candles. Um, I'm going to show you guys two different methods and then um, that's pretty much it. And this is literally how I make my money and bounce like from the market. This is how I pay my bills. This is how I am able to basically um, stay financially stable in pharmacy school, literally. Okay. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and change my candles to the regular candles. And I'm just going to show you guys from there. So with this, um, typically I will go to my editing details column and I always go here I'm going to press this little arrow right here and I'm going to go to my horizontal line okay um always make sure that you're able to see this line um if you haven't already please I suggest you going to my support and resistant line video and that explains a little bit more into detail about how I look at my support and resistant lines when it comes to my support and re resistant lines like I normally tell my students I always let them know that hey you need to make sure that you're looking at the top three the top three support and resistant line candles. And when I say the top three candles that you're looking for is typically your twin towers. If you're not familiar with your candles, I suggest you to get familiar with your candles, okay? So I suggest you knowing and identifying what your twin towers are, identifying what your Harami candles are, and as well as identifying your two small wicks, okay? Because sometimes you may not be able to see your twin towers, you may not see your Harami, and you may not see uh, yeah, you may not see either those two, so you may have to just basically go with just the two same wicks. And when I say the two same wicks, we're going to go into more detail. I like to just start from the bottom of the um, pair. And right here, this is where I'm going to put it at. So as you guys can see, I'm going to put it right here at the bottom. 
Um, so they, their candles are literally aligned. I like when my candles are literally aligned side to side because that's telling me that basically that is your support area. Okay, that's my support area and I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna press it right here. Okay, so we know that this is our support area and it hasn't went past our support layer area. Yes, we have some wicks maybe possibly going over the um, support area, but as you guys can see, it never went past our support area. And so this is gonna be called our standard support area. As you guys can see, it's 1.19541. Okay, that is our standard support area. If you don't have a book or a notebook next to you, I suggest you getting a notebook so you can always write down where in the market are we currently. So at 1.19541, you know for a fact when it breaks through that, you know for a fact that now this is our new resistant line, okay? So we know it has not passed our support line. So now we're about to look for our resistant line. Guys, when I tell you this method right here is so easy and going to make you your coins, you're going to be like, Samara, baby, okay? So my next area, I'm going to go right here. As you guys can see, we have the two same wicks side by side. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking for. We're going to put it up here. I do not care about wicks. Wicks are just basically like our storytellers. Wicks to me is basically saying, hey, Samara, I may possibly come up past this resistant line or support line, but I don't know when I'm going to go past that. Like, it's basically like a storyteller. It may or may not go past. It will eventually, maybe a week later, maybe uh, the next day, but I don't go based off my wicks unless they're short wicks, but they're long wicks like that, guys. I'm not about to do it right here because as you guys can see, if I do it up here, and let's say I put my take profit at this area, I'm never gonna win my money because it never went past above that line, right? So I'm not gonna do it where the longest wick is at. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna do it right here. That's my second one. So now I'm where the market is at. This is where your market is currently at, guys. This is where your market's currently at. So again, you may be like, okay, Samara, like, how long do I know when to get in, right? New resistant line is 1.20457. I know that I can possibly get in for a sell stop. And if you're not familiar with sell stop, I can definitely create a video for that. Just comment down below if you want a video on how to get in for a sell stop, a buy stop, et cetera, because that is how I make my money. In Forex, that's all I do is sell stops and buy stops. Now, the only time that I'll get in for actual market execution is if I see that it's at that level that I'm trying to get in for a sell stop or a buy stop. Trading regular Forex currencies, if you're not using 0.05 and up, I don't think you will make the money that you wanna make, seriously. So if I were you, I would seriously get into my demo account and start getting familiarized with the 50 cents and seeing a much more difference compared to just 10 cents. So with that being said, the market is open, the market's alive. Um, and right now I do not trade on Sundays. Currently it is Sunday and I do not trade Sundays. The market is just now opening. It's not a good time to get into the market when it's opening. Now I will start fresh in the morning on Mondays. Mondays is my get money Mondays. You hear me? Mondays are my best days, especially for EURUSD. Get on board guys, get on board. So how can I get in is the question. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm going to press it. I'm going to zoom in. And now I'm going to look for a great position of where my market is currently at, right? So I'm putting it right here at this bottom, right? This is now my new support line. This is my resistant line still, right? So you may say, okay, well, bam, if you only do sell stops and buy stops, how do you get in? So guys, literally in order for me to get in for a buy stop, I would literally, I would literally, this is what I do, okay? This is what I do. This is how I make my money. This is how I support myself, okay? What I will do is, as you guys can see, in this area, let me show you. We're right here. And let me show you another one. And we're right here, okay? 
this is where we're currently at. This is where the market is at right now, right? Y'all seen how I did it. So these are our same candle twin towers right here. And this is our Harami right here, right? This is where we're at in the market, okay? I literally will go in for a buy stop at 1.20347 and go for a take profit at 1.20422. Now, that is what I do. This is literally what I do. Now, that is your support and your resistant lines trick. You may say, okay, well, I want to make sure that this is gonna go well, right? Because this is now your new support line. This is now your resistant line. This is now your support line. This is now your resistant line, okay? So if you go in right here at your new support line, you can definitely have it dragged up to this take profit up here. Because as you guys can see previously, it has been above that take profit, right? Now I may wanna switch up my candles. So I'm gonna switch up to um, the hike and ashy. And the hike and ashy is literally gonna tell you what is going on, okay? So hike and ashy is my go-to, you hear me? Um, if you don't like to do your buy stops or sell stops, um, this is what I use for my hike and ashy, okay? So I typically will go to my hike and ashy and my hike actually just basically tells you when's a good buy and when's a good sell. Um, you always want to look for your solid flat bottoms, flat bottoms, or your solid flat tops, flat tops, flat tops, flat tops, right? Anytime that you see your flat tops, that is a good position to go into that market execution and press sell. Anytime that you see a flat bottom, that is a perfect opportunity for you to get in market execution and go in for a buy. Now, the only thing about that is that you still have to understand where are your supports and where are your resistant lines? Because guys, look what ha happened. Let's say you had gotten in on this first candle because you've seen that it was a flat bottom, a flat top, right? And I always advise my students to get in when it's a flat top second candle. Never get in on the first round because sometimes the market can kind of um, trick you out and just basically take your money and that's it. Remember, the market is not your friend. Yes, you can make money, but do not get greedy because the market will literally make and take the money that you just earned plus all of the money that's in your account, literally, okay? So don't be greedy in this market. This is not something that just instantly gets you rich in 2.5 seconds because that's not the case. If it was the case, everybody would be a millionaire. Everybody, see? right here on this candle this is a flat top okay like i told you previously you're going to get in for a sale now you got in for a sale and let's say you don't have a take profit down you don't have a take profit because you don't know where it will stop right you have a take profit but is you don't have a take profit so like let's say this is 15 minutes each candle is 15 minutes so this was 15 minutes this was 15 minutes this was 15 minutes 15 minutes 15, 15 minutes so that's pretty much a whole hour Okay, so whole hour, 30 minutes, maybe, maybe just basically two hours. You waited two hours to make all of your money. I'm gonna go here. And let's say you stopped here, right? So that was pretty much 13 pips. 13 pips. Okay, you made 13 pips in two hours. But you technically didn't make 13 pips because you really made nine pips because the market started to go back up because you didn't have a take profit, right? So that's why I say it's very important to have a take profit, guys, really important. Um, if you don't have a take profit, you're gonna lose your money or you're not gonna make money at all. Um, so yes, I always advise to get in on my second candle because your first candle can always, just like with here, um, it could have been a flat top. And then what it did was pretty much, it kind of went down and then it basically showed a wick, right? So if you've seen that, okay, bam, I'm not gonna get in there. Now, if I see this, this is our first flat top. Even though that's our first flat top, I'm still not gonna get in it because I'm gonna wait until the second round. Because with me, I only need 10 pips and I'm dipping, literally. I don't need more than 10 pips, I don't need it. So I'm going in on the second candle 
And then I am going to put this, I already have my lines, right? I went from my lines from where it's at previously. I will literally have my take profit at this line right here, which is 1.20347. And I literally rolled it down until here and made my money and bounced. And I did not have to look at my phone. I did not have to look at anything. I just literally put that in before I went to class. And then once I got out of class or finished studying, I look back at my phone and I'm in profits. I already made my money for the day. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you're not greedy from this market. Your greed will let you be broke, seriously. Your greed will turn you broke real fast in this market. So do not take this opportunity and make it seem that, oh my gosh, I'm about to win every trade because no, I do lose in the market but I win more than I lose. If you want more strategies, if you want more ways on how to make money in this market, okay? Because I'm telling you, the ways that I'm going to show you, the ways that I just showed you now, you're going to be profitable. Guys, if you guys want more strategies and things like that, you have to get this video to, let me see, you have to get this video to 50K views. Get this video to 50K views or more, and you will definitely see more strategies from me and more teachings from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel for more financial videos peace